Consumers can now expect a rollback in the prices of petroleum products next week, the Department of Energy says. This and other stories in tonight's business news wrap up. Motorists can heave a sigh of relief as rollback in pump prices of diesel and kerosene are expected in the first week of 2024. Oil companies are set to implement a price cut of 10 centavos to 35 centavos per liter of diesel products and 1 peso to 1 peso and 10 centavos per liter of kerosene. Meanwhile, no movement or very small increases are projected for gasoline. The Bureau of Internal Revenue, or BIR, has imposed a 1% withholding tax on online sellers who are earning more than 500,000 pesos annually. The said tax covers income payments of e-commerce platforms to their merchants, which actually is an amendment of Revenue Regulations No. 2-98. Meanwhile, online sellers who rake in less than half a million pesos are exempted from withholding tax payments. The Banco Central ng Pilipinas, or BSP, has extended until December 15, 2024, the moratorium on entry of new electronic money issuer non-bank financial institutions, or EMI NBFI. Those who wish to be exempted from the moratorium may only be granted their request with respect to conditions stated in BSP Memorandum No. M-2021-064, dated November 2021. The National Economic and Development Authority, or NEDA, disclosed the extension of the Reduced Most Favored Nation, or MFN, tariff rates on rice, pork and corn is expected to ensure ample and affordable food supply for the citizenry. This will help lessen the supply risks and ease inflationary pressures caused by El Nino and African swine fever, or ASF, and external pressures like the geopolitical tensions and export bans. President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. issued Executive Order No. 50 extending the reduced MFN tariff rates on key agricultural products until the end of 2024. Sharms Espina for The Nation.